All right, here it is. That is FF2 Blackhawk. Got it on my website, hartwellcarboncustoms.com. I'm going to post it to Gear Bastion at some point. It is made from ball bearing steel. It's got black G10 handles, titanium liners, black G10 backspacer. It's got the AKS pivot, mirror polished on the hardware. Got it coated with oil right now. So this is my first hollow grind. And I'm pretty proud of my work here. The G10 handle. Boy, I tell you this coarse texture G10 is really weird to work with. I uh, just could not get it finished like I did the Jade model. Um, this knife is far from perfect, but um, once I'm done showing it to you, you can check it out for yourself. I've got a bevel in the back spacer, and it's to a mirror polish, and the blade is a satin finish. get this camera to focus. I don't know if you can see in there the inside of the liners are still purple. Just wasn't working out on the knife. Carried it around for a day just to check out how it would act and when the oils from your hand gets on there it just doesn't it just doesn't do any justice. You gotta be in the right light, look old and dingy in a couple hours. So I, I buffed it off on on the handle so now it looks um, like it's all mirror polish. The bevel on the on the back on the um, spine comes oops, sorry about that comes all the way down all the way down to the front of the knife. It looks really cool um, with the contrast with the satin finish. You can see there um, centering is Pretty good. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Um, really like this knife. The, the texture on the handle's a trip. I mean, they've they've got all this fine weave fabric or whatever that is in the composite. Um, and then on the outside, they put a real coarse weave to give it this rough texture. And I've got break free CLP on there now to kind of mask it. Those little hairs and stuff were coming out. It didn't matter what I did to it. The little hairs were popping off. It didn't matter how fine I sanded it um, by hand on the bell sander. Then I put it on the buffer trying to knock them off. Then I tried to singe them with the torch. It didn't work. They just knotted up and got harder. I'm done, man. <laughs> I'm done on that. That's just the way I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to fool with that anymore. I'm not going to get any more of it. I'm going to stay with the fine texture. It really finishes nice. You can get it smooth and those little hairs aren't coming out of it. Anyhow, I'm going to show you um, how my grind line is here. It's not the best, um, but it is my first hollow grind. And I think my grinder's off a little bit. I ended up welding a no weld grinder. And it was my first welding job. And I don't know if I got it absolutely square the tool rest to the platen and the um, 8 inch wheel area. Anyhow, I'm going to use the proceeds from this knife to um, purchase a new chassis, something that's more precise. That way whenever I do these things um, I can I can get it precise. If you look where that line is right there, it's just a hair off. It's not the end of the world. But if you look on this side, man, it's a little, a little less than an eighth off. Um, maybe a whole eighth. You can see. I didn't want to throw it back on the grinder when I was this close to being finished with it. I'm still learning. This is a learning process. I don't want to throw it back on the grinder after heat treat and try to even that out. It is what it is, man. This knife is fully functional. It's sharp. It's cool looking. Um, the, the, the grind in the front lines up. 
if I can get that. Those grinds in the front are even. When you close the knife or you're looking at the dead center, it's good. But on this back side over here, it's not. Anyhow, if you want to purchase this knife, this is going to be used for... Um, I'm going to buy a KMG chassis. And um, I'm ready to do it as soon as I can get the proceeds. I'm going to use the proceeds from this knife um, to, to up the ante, if you will, on my tools. Um, let me know if you want it, harwellcarboncustoms.com. You can go to Gear Bastion, I'll have it up there in a day or two. Um, let me know what you think, post, post some comments, post your reactions down at the bottom. I'll leave some links and stuff. There's also a link on my banner there, it says um, HCC website. Let me know what you think guys, I'm interested um, to see what you think. I like the constructive criticism, that way I can um, get better at what I'm doing. I will say one more thing before I go on the on the little poke checker deal right here. Um, I hadn't finished that part of it all the way. If I do sell the knife, I will finish this back side. Um, it will be even. Um, I just got anxious and wanted to make this video and show you guys what I was working on. Anyhow, Harwell Carbon Customs out.